ladies and gentlemen. Stream if they want to check that out. So I will throw it to here. As soon as he gets back, we'll throw it back to him. But for now, I will be following the action here in his stead. So allies seem to be in strong command, but the axes have slipped through, and the front halls, the shipping halls, now in sh and then there in in their control. We're also going to have Cave putting down Ocelot there with the dynamite on the wall. That is going to be the second major objective that need to they need to get destroyed. And the allies still do have solid control over here, but whoa, whoa, Cliff hiding behind some boxes that whole time. And uh, f fortunately, <laughs> Leo Necky, very, very quick on the update, is able to spin and headshot just like that. Very, very well done. And so even though this wall, this uh, main defensive wall here is going to go down, it looks like the allies have it well in hand here, Nail. Yeah, and it looks like they've set up a great defense. They got people sitting on the spawn. Uh, they got a couple people up top. One guy on the hill shooting over. The axes, they're pushing right now. They've got a three man. Looks like they're on the bottom tier, mid tier. They're working their way up. Uh, there's really not much resistance right now. Where are they? Oh, they all just spawned actually. So here comes the allied forces. Um, Homie got, about uh, to grab it. Oh, missed a Panzer shot. And the dock grab. Yep, he's got it. He's one man army forcing his way back, ca capping one, not one, two he's people as he makes his way to the ladder. He's going down, but he's hiding. He's waiting. He's got teammates just outside. Cliff covering him as he makes his way towards the gap in the wall. He's taking lots of damage from the allies, but he's still able to get the kill and make his way to the shipping halls. I think he is home free unless we've got one super sneaky mirage-like allied player here, but it does not seem to be the case. We are going to have a very quick early cap. No, wait, we oh, do. No, we do. Badass Leon Necky is hiding and waiting and not prepared for an attack from above and below very nice there cave now with that very well coordinated escorted attack uh pretty sure they're home free now can't possibly be another ally waiting for them here is there no clock set to four minutes and for 56 seconds very well done gonna pull that up right here gonna start a brand new line four minutes and 56 is the first final grab here that was their first grab and their final grab nile nail why do I keep wanting to call you Nile? I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> Nail, give us a rundown. <laughs> yeah, it looked like really, um, as far as uh, the teams were going there, it bad, uh, Badass was really being carried by Osiris. Um, but then once they uh, once they snuck that grab, he skied down the hill. Uh, he got a crazy headshot on one defender, and then it was gone from there. Unfortunately, the guy that the ally that was hiding and sneaking his way only had a pistol, so he really oh. didn't stand much of a chance when they spotted him. That's too bad. And that is a that is a pretty quick time on this map. There we go. So it looks like is that it? And is the man is back? It? Yeah, hold on. Let me uh is the is going? I, I, I threw up uh, my backup stream for you and I just chucked it in chat so we were able to cover the ending of that match there. When you get back up and live I'll throw it over to you. But uh, it was it was a four minute fifty six second capture by Cave. who are now going to be playing the defenders for the next round here. I think we're just going to be waiting for you to get in to start the the B section of this A B B A. That, 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 as we <laughs> dropped all of our viewers is probably what you never want to see. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Broadcasting away. Blue screen of death. Oh, that was horrific. So, if you Did guys you want X? to watch Warwitch <laughs> I and X. you want it to be better, he, where, where can they send you PayPal donations for that new computer? <laughs> oh my god. No kidding. We're going to put a chip in thing next week. I think my PC needs some help. Uh, oh, Neil, yeah. let's get on the job, buddy. Blue screen of death ain't good. So, Absolutely. I'm going to get the game loaded up. I'll get you back in uh, into the action. What have you guys seen so far from the match? What are quick we looking time, at? quick time. And I'll be in game in a moment. Yeah, very, very quick time set by uh, the Axis there. Um, they they really didn't have a, an incredible amount of kills. I mean, they only had eight Gibbs the entire round, so they were uh, they're being pretty sneaky, only getting the kills they needed. Uh, they got a couple. Timely kills down there. They uh, they spawned and killed about two or three guys that were out the entire spawn. And so one guy grabbed it, snuck around the wall. There's only one defender. 
it, it was a really, really coordinated attack, and um, I'm really interested to see what the um, what the badass team here is going to do on offense. I know Osiris was getting some really good Panzer shots, so we're going to see if that carries over to the other side. It's interesting. We've actually gone back in time, Bridger. Um, we're, we're like shoutcasting audio now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no video. <laughs> yes, and, and yes, I hit X. I, I, I told you guys, should I hit it? I'll hit it. And, yeah, blue screen of death. <laughs> Are you so sure it wasn't I've the... I've got the uh, game loaded. I'm about... I thought maybe you had some, some kind of about allied back. sneak attack, like somebody just run up behind you, hit the X, and then run away giggling. You know? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened. Shout it was bad news. Bad, bad news all around. So multitasking and should be back in game in a moment. Let's take a look here. Yep. So back to the command center. Let me connect. And then you guys can give me the full rundown and hopefully we can survive. Well, that's not... Okay, the round just started. They're, uh, they're pushing up. Looks like the allies got to the flag way before the Axis did. The Axis got really bad spawns. They all spawned at the uh, the other transmitter. Oh, and DTS, is de DTS grenade kills the Panzer. The defense <laughs> Panzer is out for now, and looks like the flag has already been grabbed. They already spawned at the flag, so this is going to be a big, I feel like, fast push. I feel like I'm watching the Super Bowl, but I'm stuck. Like, you know, I'm at home, and I got a radio, <laughs> and I can't watch the game. I'm almost in game. Oh, my God. Relax, right. screen of death. Come on, Wolf. Respond, 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 and I will be back and live with you guys. Uh, so who scored that first round as I recover from the blue screen? Cave managed to get it in 4 minutes and 56 seconds, but we're going to see if Badass can beat that time. They've got 4 minutes on the clock right now, but as, as Nail just said, we have a very fast push by Badass. They are already in the shipping halls. They spawn in there right away, so they have some very, very good chance here to get a fast cap. Let's see if they can do it. The service door is down. That's a big step in the right direction following Kevin right now as he makes his way up and just gets obliterated! Wow, did they know he was coming? I don't know. It looked like they had some explosive planted ready, thrown in his direction at exactly the right moment. Axis coming through the service well doors, though. Grenade. Yes, indeed. Airstrike on the Allied spawn, and they're spawning it. Oh! Now at 326, as I try and to get my like bearings gonna get the Axis. Oh, and everybody in the Panzer got killed on spawn. Badass. Versus cave on allied defense. We have a grab. Let's take a look. Badass. Um, I'm not even going to try to pronounce Leonecki. that name. We're just going to call him Leon. <laughs> Leonecki with the grab here at 3:05. Plenty of time. Oh, taken down as he makes the leap and shatters his legs on impact. So DTS oh, no. tries to go for the grab, but no. takes the long-range MP40 fire, and then it is returned. So now that we got our game on here once again, Nail, give us the tactical rundown of what we're seeing. Uh, Osiris is being sneaky. Uh, he was actually standing on top of the Allied spawn. Waiting for them to run out. <laughs> he kills their fans or he gets killed. But oh he is being really sneaky. Right now it looks like badass they have a couple people, but it's like everybody's kinda of grouping up. They're they're starting from scratch here. Homie had two clutch kills right there. Stop it. Oh and dot grab by Leonecki up on the top. Oh, he's got it again. He spawns in, he gets it. That's two for Leonecki. Where's he going? <laughs> Dropping down again, Oh, he's, he's down, down mid barely. Homie with the clutch kill. Same again. problem. Wow, that's the third time he stopped the dog. Makes the grab. Osiris now with the grab. We'll see if we can get a first person lock on him. Panzerfaust sold that. Schnell. 157. Kill. Opens fire. Oh, Double kill. kill from Osiris. Gets it done. Well played there, Nail. Well played. He waits. Sees the allied spawn. Opens fire. And now clears the way. His team surround him as they make the charge. They've got 141 to beat the time. Oh, and the almost got the And they got returned by two return. pistols. Oh, no. Homie. Wow. Almost had it. Was that homie again? Chaos homie again. in the shipping always. Again, homie, Plechko. Man, talk homie about... Homie and uh, Cliff, they were just so. both cornering him. It was two on three, and they got him. Exactly the right time. But the Axis now already back remaining. into that su supply room there. Nope. And T-Mobile with the save there. They had two people at the front gate. He panzers both of them. Now Leonecki going up again. Maybe he's going to get another sneak grab. There he is. We'll find out. Make our way to the Allied Hill base. Uh, 
54 seconds remain on the clock. Again with a tactical rundown as I gain my footing. I haven't been in game here for about a round and a half, so... That's Lamb. It's a little, a little difficult <laughs> at the moment. T-Mobile is actually Lamb, he's saying in the chat. <laughs> uh, he's, he's, he's made himself T-Mobile just for fun, but is Lamb? Is that it? Yeah, Islam, yeah. Islam, okay. <laughs> now it makes sense. Axes, recapturing, sipping <laughs> sipping alls. Yeah, they, they troll you. They troll the casters. They're like, yeah, we're just going to throw T-Mobile in the thing. Maybe they'll say it. Hur, hur, hur. And there it goes. All right, Axis <laughs> allies meeting at the service door. Lots of grenades going both ways, but it looks like Axis getting the worst of this fight. That is, until Leoneki arrives on the scene. One man, one man army there. He's the only one surviving. Fights off the allies. Retreats to that hall, the shipping halls. Trying to defend it, but no, no he's not win. able to. That couldn't beat the clock. There's a first point for Cave. There we go. Now I feel... I feel... As things get abruptly quiet, that... I've got my bearings. Cave up 1-0 on MP Ice. Rolls are going to be reversed. We're going to go back to that tactical rundown with Nail. What did you see? Give us a give us some st statistics from that last round. Yeah, so the the kills were, were pretty even actually when you when you consider the suicides. Um, really, the, the heavy hitters was on badass's side. It was uh, Osiris with a Panzer, and then on um, Cave side, it was actually Oba, Homie, and Cliff. Cliff was the guy on the hill every time Leonetti kept getting the docks. Mm -hmm. He was getting shot down from the hill. Nobody was really contesting Cliff over there, so he just sat there. Hide behind the little ice hill, keep shooting up at the top, and that was the key. I think if they can take the hill, they'll probably be able to take this round. Well, we'll find out in five, four, three, two, and a one. Fight. The game is underway, Bridger. I'm with the Axis spawn. I'm with Osiris. We're going to hand it to you, buddy. Let's get things rolling 1944 style. Badass versus Cave, all you. Full screen. All right, there we go. Following it right now. Yeah, I can't even type. <laughs> Here we go. Following Leoneki with the first kill of the game. No, he didn't actually get it. <laughs> he tried for it with a nice Panzer Faust, but it was not going to be enough. He's still up, though. He's still up. Let's see. Allies solely in control of the shipping halls. Haven't seen a big push yet, but badass Crab G. Crabby? Crab G? Making his way in. Grenade just a little bit too short. Should have waited. Gotten in there a little bit sooner. Here comes another grenade. A little bit further. Not quite enough yet. Cave hiding. No! Two kills with that nice grenade. Badass. DTS holding it down as they take control of the shipping halls. Grenades coming DTS. from the allies. DTS. Wow! Everywhere. What did you <laughs> see, Nail? What did you Whoa. see? Oh, like, like he's saying DTS was just destroying people. Yeah, four kills in a row before they finally took him down. And it uh, looks like they got a steady hold on the uh, flag now. They're starting to push through the uh, service halls. Uh, but Cave has already actually set up their defense here. Uh, they look like they're just trying to wait it out. Well, at 8.40 on the clock. Islam is just wrecking with the Panzer. Got two kills again. And then Osiris range with <laughs> Osiris. <laughs> he, he just sacrificed himself and blew everybody away. So that is some action indeed. Now with T-Mobile slash Islam, the guy who's trolling us with his name, back on the Allied defense tonight. 8.20 on the clock. So again, keep in mind the Axe is trying to grab these documents that you see right here. And that's six on six roster rundown for you. We'll get back in the action. Uh, Bridger, it has been... This map a little more traditional, or, or, or this match a little more traditional than we saw last game with that sneak attack from Mirage. So you're seeing ahead, the Axis and Allies going really head-to-head -head here, trying to get those documents and some impressive kills so far. Yeah, CLS had to some kind of psychic vision about what was around that corner. He came around the corner waiting for the ambush by the Axis there. I'm trying to follow. I know they broke through a little bit. I don't see any hiding anywhere around here, though. It looks like the allies have fully secured the area from Badass, except DTS, who gets taken up by his own airstrike. Very nice. <laughs> Dodged aside Hollywood style. Taken down. So is the incoming airstrike. Absolutely. We got Osiris, a, a lone panzer in the north. Here we are. Nice gets, shot. Gets one. Pulls out the pistol, but cannot complete the objective. So, Nail, um, what do you think 
the badass team needs to do here to get the penetration to get those documents? I think if, like I said, I, if, if they could take the hill, which actually they're the cave has put two people on the hill this time, so they realize that um, they're, they're trying to take it, so they, they merged another guy over there. So there's four people at the base, two people on the hill right now, um, but they just they can't get out of the box room and stay alive. They get out, they get killed, they get gibbed, and the medics are dying first, but now actually we've got Badass going up for a grab. We've got one person setting up for a spawn camp, and there's a grab. We have the grab. He fell down and because died again yeah. on the middle level. That Ironic with the revive, they got the, the grab fate. again. That seems to be the fate of anyone that grabs those documents that fall to your death. The grab is by Ironic. We'll try to get a lock on him very quickly. Looking for him now into the shipping hallways at 616. Ironic with the grab, skiing his way, and we have a dramatic... And the woohoo <laughs> built. <laughs> timeout. Did they, did they call a timeout just to say, yep, you got away, good job, or what happened? <laughs> I'm not sure if they realize it. I'm not sure if they realize it, but actually... There is nobody alive on the cave team. They are all actually dead. Did I hit X again? <laughs> and freeze time? Good question. <laughs> Who knows what happens? I'm going to take the X key off my keyboard. <laughs> Just, it's not going to exist anymore. So spelling words like sex isn't going to be as interesting anymore. Prepare it's going to be S-E. <laughs> well, apparently Osiris's mom was yelling at him. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, that makes for an interesting backstory. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing again! All right, ladies and gentlemen, soldiers and soldats, here's Ironic with the grab after that pause in time and space, 607, making his way towards the half track. The Axis documents, or the Allied documents in hand, Zephira awaits the transmission of the Axis documents at 556. Incoming now, some machine gun fire from the back. He's going to send Leoneke in front to secure the way, and the clock is set at 408. It's a little bit earlier than the last time. By about and, uh, 40 seconds yeah. or so? It was 4.56, that was 4.08. So yeah, they're about 40, 45 seconds. Whew. And it was a great a setup. As soon one. as they grabbed the documents, everybody on the cave team died about five seconds later. You know, Cyrus killing two people, Kevin killing two people, and the uh, and then CLS and uh, Crab, they cleaned the rest, and everybody was dead within about five or seven, five seconds of the grab. So... It was pretty much smooth sailing. It didn't even really need an escort. Yes, indeed. Working. Go ahead, Bridger. Working on a couple technical issues. Hopefully, no more blue screens, though. I'm gonna hand it to you. Well, let's take a look at the uh, the kills here. Osiris, definitely the big leader from the badass team in that last fight, doing 11 kills. That the next closes was nine, and then six. So he was definitely leading the charge there with that Panzer Faust. Very nice job. Uh, and on the uh, on the cave team, the big leader was uh, Alba. I wasn't even following him, but uh, you know, we, we definitely saw the homie with. Even though he only had three kills according to this chart, all three of them were on the documents. Unless I'm thinking, no, I'm thinking, sorry, two two round. That was last round, <laughs> not this round. He was on offense this round. That's not possible. So, um, very uh, very close. We're getting ready to go yet again. Anything's possible. Anything's possible. He's on offense. He's on defense. He doesn't know. He's got three kills. He was the MVP for the other team. We don't know. We can't find out. So. All right, game underway. We're back. We're live, and we got 3:59 on the clock as the roles have been reversed. So here comes the Axis push of Cave into the shipping what? hall. Oh, oh. And another timeout. What's going on here? Look at this guy. Look at this guy frozen. Look at this hop. This is awesome. <laughs> We're gonna spec him from all. Oh my gosh, that's actually kind of cool. He's got quite the fight. jump going here. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. All right. This is for real. Three fifty-three, three, two, one. Game is underway. All right, Nell. What do you expect to see here? It looks like they're gonna go through a south connection push. They're going to have to be fast almost about everything they do. Uh, if they get too stalled here on the very first push, that could be the, nice. the round. Oh, wow. Two-man Panzer. Two of them. DTS. Oh, they're, they're trying. They, they got a couple people in the north. Oh, they got three people now. They got the plant down already. They're uh, trying to get the flag here. There's only one guy. Oh. oh, and one guy is enough. He defends the entire flag by himself. And backup has arrived. 
Chaos and confusion and carnage. People spawn in and people die. Look at the bones and blood and a lone single helmet. <laughs> Here at the forge. Now we got Osiris the defending the halls, making sure they don't.